everyone, my name is Cad and this is Corpse Factory. Welcome back. Oh my god, I'm so excited to be jumping in you shit out of this game. And I had a thought. I had a thought after the last recording. Okay, okay, okay. Since we've been obsessing a lot, not for a while, because we haven't been in Nuriko's shoes, but you recall when we were playing as Nuriko, she was uh, sitting in front of the mirror, obsessing about her looks, and she talked about, like, um... Was it her sister's eyes or like her mother's eyes or something like that and how she wished she had them or I can't remember. I think she was sort of, um, you know, she was insecure about her beauty and everything and she's talking about how she wished she had features that her mother has or her sister has or something like that or that she has features that she doesn't like of theirs or something like that. I was thinking about that and it occurred to me, have we heard anything about Noriko's mother because I'm wondering if that's who Corpse Girl is. I'm wondering if Noriko's mother is Corpse Girl. Um, I don't really know why. <laughs> Aside from just her obsessing about her own insecurities and wishing to, if I recall correctly, wishing to be more like her mother or wanting certain features of hers or something and I don't know. It's only because we haven't heard about her mother in a while and to be honest, I don't know. Like if, if it's, 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 it's also because if Corpse Girl is someone else, it's got to be someone we've mentioned, right? It's got to be a character we know and met already or someone at least mentioned in passing in dialogue somewhere, right? That's just I mean, we did get Junpei Masamoto just appearing randomly, um, but you know, I consider him more of a sort of a, a side character plot device or something. Um, I, but if Corpse Girl is someone else and it's not just a, a, another alter ego of ours, because we do refer to ourselves, uh, I keep saying our, we're not Noriko anymore, but Noriko refers to herself in the third person quite a bit, and I'm sure she's referred to herself as Corpse Girl. I think, I don't know, after that conversation be between Kajira and Luffy Space Princess, I've been questioning it too. This game has seriously like gaslighted me. I was sure she did refer to herself as Corpse Girl or... I don't know. No, she said like, I'm pretty sure she said things like, me, Corpse Girl, you know, that I, Corpse Girl, things like that. Or is that her sort of to reaffirm to other people that she is Corpse Girl. You know, it's like Corpse Girl is someone else, but she needs to keep up this facade, uh, this persona sort of thing, because she isn't actually Corpse Girl, but needs to convince people that she is. I still kind of think it might be a generation thing, so Corpse Girl might be dead, and it, it might be her mother, but that she's dead, but she needs to continue, you know, it's, it's her turn to be Corpse Girl now. Um... But has she spoken about Corpse Girl, like, in the present? Like, Corpse Girl is still around? I don't know. Um, I don't know, guys. I just, as I said, I just feel like it can't be a new character, right? It can't be a new character. It's got to be someone we've heard about or seen or something. Um, and I was thinking Armin, but now I don't know. <laughs> Now I don't know. But yeah, I just had this random thought. What if it's her mother? I don't know. I don't know. It may not be. It may not be. Anyway, look, let's just jump in and you shuttle this game. Let's go. So Noriko last said Junpei Matsumoto will be dead by sunrise. That's right. Uh, how is that going to happen? Um, I did want to go into another thought and ask about like the Herald. Like, is it possible the Herald and Noriko are working together? Like they do know each other or something? Or I don't know, I don't know. Who who would be killing Junpei Matsumoto? <sighs> <sighs> what is what does that sigh mean? What does that mean? Are we the ones to do it? Is someone else gonna do it? Is Corpse Girl, like uh whoever Corpse Girl is, is Corpse Girl going to do it? Um, also, I don't, I don't believe, Junpei was saying before that it's just the two of them, right? Just, just him and the Herald. 
Um, I don't believe that. I can't remember if I mentioned in the last video, but I thought maybe it's just something that the Herald tells every one of his followers. Is that it's just you and me sort of thing. Um, maybe? How could it be just Junpei and the Herald? Like, moving hundreds. They said, like, hundreds, right? Hundreds of corpses from Kajiro's morgue. How could just the two of them do it if it was even the Herald helping, or was it just Junpei? I don't know anymore, guys. I don't know. I made a request, Kojiro. You made a request to the Herald? Or to Corpse Girl? Are you about to say I made a request to Corpse Girl? Because I'm going to lose my shit if she says that. A request. Is it to Corpse Girl? Like, she's officially, like... I don't know. She's, like, not Corpse Girl anymore. Like, she's... Is she even aware that she's... That she's doing this? That she's announcing to people that she's not Corpse Girl? That she's making a distinction? Is she even aware of it? The first thought that jumps out at me is that she requested for Corpse Girl to kill Junpei Matsumoto. So maybe not. Maybe she requested it to the Herald. But that's a ridiculous notion, isn't it? I don't know, man. If she's saying that she needs to serve Corpse Girl and, you know, she's willing to let Armin die um, to see through the mission or whatever for Corpse Girl. I, I seriously can't remember. Um, back to the mother thing. I can't remember... I had a feeling that they were abused as kids, right? Noriko and... Shit, what's her sister's name again? I can't remember, guys. I see. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't, Kajiro. Are you just, like, humoring her, just placating her? Is that what you're doing? I don't think Corpse Girl can take care of him. No? Why not? He knows her whole operation. Hmm. Yeah. But we could kill him directly. Like, we don't do a photo or, or whatever. Just Corpse Girl actually kills him. We could do that. I mean, Kajiro was going to do it at the maid cafe. Why did you step in and intervene? He was willing to do it in a public place, too. Like, he would have been caught. I'm surprised he hasn't been caught. Like, surely police would have been cold there? I don't know. Noriko's raised eyebrow conveys her confusion. Hmm? What? No. I didn't make a request through Corpse Girl's website. Oh. Okay, the Herald then? Would the Herald do it? What would be the point of that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you're thinking. I shrug because I truly don't know what else she could have meant. I use the other website. Other website. There's another Corpse Girl website? Or are you talking about the Herald? The Human Removal Service. Yeah, what is the actual website? Please tell me. I need to know if it's thehumanremovalservice.com or whatever because... Because... I don't know, it's way too long. That's way too long. I made a request for the death of Junpei Matsumoto. Hmm. Okay. And if they fulfill this request, does that mean that Junpei wasn't the only person helping the Herald? Oh. But again, what good would that do? We'll find out. Junpei is an accomplice if his colleague, the venerable, supposedly immortal Herald, receives a request to kill him, it will simply be ignored. I don't know. Unless... A startling realisation dawns on me. What? Shit. Of course. Why didn't I suggest that? What? What's the realisation? A haunting smirk is inscribed across Noriko's features. She knows that I have finally drawn the same conclusion. What? The Herald is ambitious. His convictions are strong. Absolute. Are they? You're saying that because you were willing to go as far as killing Armin, uh, that maybe the Herald would do something similar? Just like mine. Mm. Like Corpse Girls. Well, we'll see about that. Corpse Girls' convictions, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I... I Noriko's done this in the past. She's referred to herself and Corpse Girl and in the third person and everything. Like she, she's she's referred to herself as Corpse Girl. I'm certain of that. Corpse Girl would never reject a request. No, 
That's right. Hmm. Kenneth's backfire. Kenneth's backfire. So, for instance, uh, I think I said this before in the prologue. Uh, that, uh, so Amy, when she received the, the photo, um, and she sent one to, fuck, she sent one to, uh, Noriko's sister, did she? Oh, guys, I got a bad memory. I got a bad memory. She, I think, I think she sent one to Noriko's sister and then received one herself, right? So I was thinking that that could be the case here. It could just be like a, a retaliation thing, potentially. Um, I know that wasn't the case uh, in the prologue after... Yeah, right? Mm, no, I've got a bad memory. Sorry, guys. I can't recall. I can't recall. But uh, since Junpei knows the operation, right? Uh, and he probably knows that Corpse Girl is strong in her convictions too. If Junpei receives a photo or however it's done through the Herald, the Human Removal Service, is it possible that, you know, before he dies, uh, he puts in a request uh, either through the Herald or through Corpse Girl, and, you know, if it's through Corpse Girl, she's got to complete it too, right? For the death of someone else, someone close to Noriko, so maybe Kajiro. Or Lumpy Space Princess. He's aware of them. I don't know if he would request the death of Armin. Because they're together. But I mean I don't know the nature of their relationship. Maybe he doesn't actually love her. Or he's willing to throw her under or something. But you know he could do a revenge request. Before he dies. Because I don't know if it's like as soon as you receive a photo or whatever. I don't know if it's instantaneous or anything. But I think there's time to put in a revenge request. Um, I think that's possible. Junpei Matsumoto is disposable. A pawn. Hmm, interesting. The Herald will deal death to him in the same manner as any other nameless victim. You might be right. You might be right. I see. But I think I think you're going to pay the price for it. Um, I think Kajiro could be requested. Um, which, you know, I, I, I don't know. Noriko's mindset at the moment, she may not actually care um about losing Kajiro or Lumpy Space Princess. But if for any reason Junpei requests Armin's death, um I don't know. She did very I mean she was really upset. She was crying when she said kill Armin. Um But I don't know. I don't know. But more important than Junpei being killed is what we will discover in the aftermath. <sighs> what is that? In the aftermath. Explain. Hmm, I'm trying to think. My mind is blank though. My mind is blank. What would we discover in the aftermath? By knowing that Junpei is the next to be targeted, we can observe him and witness the Herald's killing method firsthand. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna have to follow Junpei around, I guess. In our van that apparently was like sticking out like a sore thumb or whatever it's brilliant Noriko has laid the perfect trap I don't know about it it's gonna backfire by sparing Junpei's life today we have set him up to be slaughtered by his own compatriot uh, I don't know I think it's gonna backfire and we can use his death as a means to uncover exactly how the Herald brings slow his victims hope to add it to you Mm. This is a pretty fantastic plan. I I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, guys. I don't know. I know. I don't know. When you earlier... You, I, that's another thing I was recalling was uh, their conversation about uh, like the Wi-Fi or whatever, or the IP address. And Noriko, you know, she hasn't been disguising it or whatever uh, for the factory. And they were like, she was saying like, oh, but the police can't track it, right? Like she wasn't... I don't know, I just... Hmm. A few things. Yep. You have doubts? Yes. Not doubts, exactly. Okay, and what's the problem? Firstly, how do we know exactly when Junpei will be killed? I don't know, I assume Noriko's been researching the Herald, though? Noriko sweeps her hair behind the ear and scoffs, as though the answer should be as clear to me as it is to her. I specifically requested the time of death. Whoa, you can request the time of death? 
Huh. Interesting. You can do that? How does that work? Fuck. The Human Removal Service demands it. Demands it? How does that work? Okay, alright. I think this sort of confirms my theory that the Human Removal Service, the, the Herald, sorry, the Herald is more than one person. Because what if um, what if the Herald, if it's one person, is in Hokkaido or something? <laughs> and, um, you know, that the person who is to die is in, like, another end of Japan or something. And you want them killed in the next five minutes or something. So I assume the Herald is more than one person. And, um, also going back to the whole immortal thing. I think the Herald would have to be more than one person. Right? I don't know. Interesting. Mm. Second topic. Mm. What if you're wrong? Yeah. What if you're wrong? What? Oh, she's upset. What if the Herald isn't willing to kill his own ally? Mm. Well, I don't think he's the only one. I don't think he's the only one. He might have um, got Junpei in. You know, he might have sold it to him by saying, you're my only ally or you're my only accomplice or whatever. It's just us doing this to whatever mission the Herald has. Um, and for whatever reason, Junpei wanted to go along with it. Um, but I reckon he, whoever the Herald is, is probably saying that to a bunch of people. In that case... It will prove something important. It kind of reminds me, I was just thinking about, I don't know if you guys have seen uh, Jurarara, but it kind of reminds me of the Dollars. So that like gang, where they're all sort of like hidden. You don't know who is a member of the Dollars. Uh, whereas, you know, the other gangs, they would wear a certain color, like red or yellow to signify that they're a part of a gang. Whereas the Dollars, they're all in hiding. So it, it sort of reminds me of that, where they're all members of the human removal service but they may not even be aware of the other you know they could walk past each other on the street and not even know that they're a member of it it will prove that we are dealing with a complete amateur hmm someone whose convictions could never reach the strength of corpse girls okay so it's it's not just about uh eliminating the threat of junpei it's also Okay, it's also a battle of convictions and who is the better uh, godlike being or whatever? Who, who is the better... What would she consider herself to be or corpse girl to be? I don't know. Um, okay, so it's sort of a, a way to like undermine the other operation by saying, well, they're not as good as me because they're not fulfilling all the requests. Whereas I, corpse girl, B, uh, is completing all of them. So that's interesting. Uh, but do you have to, like, I'm wondering what other things you need to enter on the Human Removal Service website. So it's like name, time of death, uh, what else? What else would you need? Would you need address or something too, like a corpse girl asks for? I'm wondering if the Human Removal Service would track the IP address and know it's corpse girl putting in the request. I don't know. And just like that, Narika reaffirmed my earlier suspicions. Mm hmm. Corpse Girl truly would destroy her own allies in order to see her ambitions fulfilled. Mm hmm. Lumpy Space Princess, myself, our souls are shackled to Corpse Girl's own black void, yet we are not safe from her wrath. Should Narika will it, our flames will be snuffed out in moments. We are nothing to her. Dirt, dust. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So if there is a revenge request. She she will not hesitate. She will kill Kajiro. I don't even know how, because he, he knows the operation, obviously. Much like we're saying that Junpei knows the operation, he can't fall victim to it. You know, maybe Kajiro can't fall victim to Corpse Girl. But what if... I don't know. What if Noriko kills him by other means? Or gets Corpse Girl to kill him by other means? I don't know. Ash. Yeah, you're nothing. We will be blown away like the useless incinerated remains of a cadaver. So remember how you, like, you know, confessed to her and she was all like, hey, yeah, I'll be yours forever. I'll be your lover, your mistress, your wife, whatever you want me to be. And she's willing to just kill you. She treats you like dirt, ash, whatever. Interesting. Understood. 
Yeah, you're nothing to her. <laughs> Let's uncover the secrets behind the human removal service. Let's do it. I, I am curious to know who it is. Um... I don't know. I, I'm really thinking I might be overthinking this. And I overthink a lot, guys. You know that. <sighs> Have we seen evidence of deaths by the Hand of the Herald and the Human Removal Service? Have we seen that? Because... <laughs> is it possible the Human Removal Service is the police? And is just trying to flush out... I don't even know if I said this before, I may have... And they're just trying to flush out Corpse Girl's operation? Just trying to provoke them? Get them to make a mistake or something? Is it possible? But then who is Junpei? Who is Junpei to them? He seems to be taking it very seriously. Oh, I don't know. That might be stupid. I don't know, guys. Sorry. I don't know. Oh, back here. August 7th. Another early morning. If you can call it that. Haven't gone to sleep yet, so it still feels like late night. Noriko has me on a short leash. Thinks she knows it too. Oh yeah. Apparently she specified this as the place of Junpei's death. Don't know how she knew of it. Huh. Don't know how she knew of it. And this is where he lives, right? He lives nearby? Assuming this is the same, like, garage. Or parking station, whatever this is. Don't know how she knew of it. Has she been following Kujira around? I mean, she was at the maid cafe. Did Kujiro tell Noriko that he was going to be at the maid cafe to kill Junpei? He could have been anywhere. Has Noriko been following him around? Has she been spying on... I don't know about Lumpy Space Princess, but has she been spying on Kujiro? Like, if she has any kind of... I was thinking about this before. Like, if she was paranoid or at all. Because like, we haven't had that kind of tension of... Hey, is Kajiro or Lumpy Space Princess going to betray me? Or betray Corpse Girl? She has a lot of faith in them, you know? And they haven't really... Aside from Lumpy Space Princess talking about potentially leaving, you know, no one's really said, hey, this is bad or anything like that. And Corpse Girl hasn't even considered that they may not want to play along with this or they may, may want to leave or anything like that. There hasn't been that kind of tension... Uh, in that regard, uh, which I found interesting. Uh, could she be following them around? If she's been following around or like, bugging ple people's places and stuff, then she would be aware that Lumpy Space Princess is thinking of leaving? Uh, I don't know. This parking complex belongs to Junpei's apartment building. It extends two or three levels underground. Again, Noriko specified the exact location of the death. Hmm. How would she know of it? How would she know of it? I don't know, maybe she's been meeting up with Armin <laughs> and Junpei. I don't know, maybe she has been leaving the factory. The human removal service seems to take user requests very seriously. I would love it if this was a trap or something and the human removal service is actually Noriko or something. and A trap? Oh, I don't know what kind of trap though. To kill Kajiro? I don't know. <laughs> How much further in? I'm just trying to think what other twists can this game throw at me? Because I'm way off all the time and I'm trying to think... If I think of every conceivable, you know, possibility, then... <laughs> but I can't. I never do. Shh. Keep your voice down. Yeah, shut up. I'm just looking for a good vantage point that we can hide... <gasps> oh no. Her words are severed by a violent gasp. I hope Armin's not here. Unable to speak another word, she simply points. My eyes obediently follow the direction of her slender figure. Finger. <laughs> not figure. Mm hmm. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. That's what I said. Oh. I didn't get a good look. Was that... Is that... That's definitely Junpei? Did she request that... The, the form of death, like how he used to die? 
What are they wearing? So they've got a mask with a smiley face. A hoodie. A skirt? Is that a skirt? Uh, I can't. Damn it. This, this thing is over the top of it. I wanted a better look. I think it's a skirt. Disappointing. Missed the main event. They missed it. Hmm. Junpei Matsumoto is already dead. So, well, what time did they pick? Or did it happen earlier? Were they late to see it? Or was he already killed? I don't know. He's floating in a sea of his own lifeblood. Well, oh, he's not floating in it, no. Vicious stab wounds practically glow red along his back. After examining his remains, I turn my attention to the less interesting figure standing motionless beside him. Less interesting figure? You. Wait, are we talking to them? Is Noriko talking? What? The Masked Stranger looks like the villain from a B-rated slasher film. He's covered from head to toe in dark clothing, a zipped up jacket with extra long sleeves, a hood, a skirt. Okay. The cut of the figure's clothes combined with his physique gives me the impression that he may in fact be female. Hmm. Is this the Herald we've been searching for? Is it fucking Armin? The bloody corpse at her feet would suggest that it is so. That mask. Have we seen it before? The mask. It's simple. White. Probably porcelain. It's reminiscent of something. Some fictional character or maybe some film villain after all. The Herald still hasn't moved. She's as still as a statue. Gaze vacant. Her eyes impossible to discern behind the mask. Are you the Herald? Oh man, guys. For the first time the figure moves. It's a startling jerky motion, like a mannequin or a puppet being pulled by strings. Oh my god, no. No. None of that Ringu shit, no. Her head cocks to the side and she seems to notice our presence for the first time. But an answer to Noriko's question is not forthcoming. I step up to the plate. You really immortal? Oh. The Herald doesn't react to my voice like she reacted to Noriko's. She has returned to a stiff, doll-like state. Pretty easy to prove if someone or something is immortal, and I've always had a curious mind. Well, if it's Armin, she's not going to respond. She's not going to respond because we'll recognize her voice, right? I draw the knife from my pocket and launch it at the mannequin. The blade embeds itself in the thing's shoulder and she doesn't so much as flinch as a trickle of blood pools around the shining steel. Oh. Huh. Mr. Hart. Hmm. Interesting that the Herald would allow like Kajiro to get that close. Like wouldn't disarm him or something. Just let it happen. Kajiro, why did you do that? We're not seeing like Nariko right now. It's it's making me nervous that we're not seeing anything beyond just this. I shrug and take a step toward the Herald before Noriko tugs at my coat and holds me back. She takes my place and puts herself between me and the Herald. Tell us who you are. We deserve to know that much. Oh. Is it Armin? I will... Oh my god, I will lose my mind. Something in Noriko's words, the sound of her voice or the tone of her plea causes the Herald to move once more in acknowledgement. But the motion this time is quick, fast, calculated. The Herald moves a sleeved hand to withdraw the knife from her shoulder and she allows the blade to drop down to the concrete ground with a dull ting. Before the knife hits the ground, the Herald turns her back to us and breaks into a sprint. What? Well, you just left evidence at the scene of the crime. Shit. Not cut out to chase her. Uh, why, you're unfit? Don't bother. We won't catch up. Oh, well... You didn't even try. Um, so left a bloody knife at the scene. What are we going to do with that? There's evidence. Do they not care? The Herald disappears into the darkness of the parking lot. We are left standing behind the corpse of Junpei Matsumoto. Well... Are there no cameras in here at all? We didn't see the killing. 
But... But... What did you learn from this? Other than you stabbed uh, the Herald and they didn't say anything, scream out or anything. So you, they may be immortal, but you're not sure? At least the request was granted. Is it definitely Junpei? <laughs> She's right. Her gambit paid off. The Herald killed her own ally. She has proven her convictions are strong. I crouched down to examine Junpei's corpse, but it's hard to get a good look in the darkness. Look at the lights! What are you talking about? Regardless, it's clear that the dog is dead. Should we leave the body? I find it weird that he's constantly referring to Junpei as a dog when he himself is obviously a dog to Noriko. <laughs> What? Going to send a text. Uh, to Lumpy Space Princess? Are we gonna just take the corpse? Huh? Who are you messaging? Lumpy Space Princess? See if I can pull a few strings. Wouldn't mind if the corpse ended up at my morgue. Why? <sighs> what are you planning? I don't know. What would you want with his body? Like, specifically his body or a body? Like, do you need a body for something? Nothing. Really. Okay. Just want to prod and poke a bit. Okay. Is this, like, revenge because you don't like him or something? Noriko's subsequent grunt is a clear indication that she doesn't fully believe me. I don't know. You're both weird. <sighs> do what you want. It seems like a real hassle, though. I've gained as much from this as I had hoped. Uh, did you? You didn't even see it happen. You didn't see... You didn't see them come in. You don't even know if it happened right on the dot the time you requested. It could have happened earlier. Like... I don't know. You didn't see how the Herald arrived, either. I let a trail off as I turned my attention to my phone. It would be interesting if, um... Yeah, so my theory that the Herald is more than one person it would be interesting if one of those people is Armin. Uh, like, Armin in this this city. What city are we in? Shinjuku? Sh I'm not sure, guys. I can't remember what city we're in. But it would be interesting if Armin was the person for this particular area of the city or something. Um, and had to carry out the deaths in this area. But why not respond to a stab? Like, if not, like, vocally respond? But, like, physically. Not even physically respond to that, apparently. Why? I don't know. Is it, is it possible it's not Armin? <laughs> I swipe through my contacts and quickly compose a message to a few people in particular. A few people? If all goes well, an investigation team will shortly arrive to examine the scene. Huh. Are you going to get someone to test the blood on that knife, maybe? That would be awesome. I'll be gone by then. But if my contacts do their jobs correctly, they'll haul Junpei back to the morgue. I'm more concerned about the blood on the knife. You like that could be tested somewhere? I pocket my phone and scurry toward the blood-soaked knife I launched at the Herald. Okay, okay, yeah. It slides back into my pocket and I signal to Noriko that we should depart. Do you know someone that could test it? Maybe you could hand it over to Fujikawa or something. Goodbye, Junpei Matsumoto. He didn't hear you. I think he's dead. <laughs> she waves half-heartedly at the corpse and lets out a childlike giggle. Oh, we didn't hear it. Oh, back at our apartment. A scant few hours sleep didn't offer much in the way of refreshment. Have to be at the morgue again in an hour. Oh my god, dude. I would not survive. I need at least eight hours or I'm done. Not that there's much to do there since the place was robbed. Perhaps a few more cadavers will have arrived. Perhaps Junpei Matsumoto's corpse will be there. I should take this opportunity to take a breath. Been a while since life slowed down like this. No requests coming through for corpse girl. No bodies to haul around town with Lumpy Space Princess. No cadavers to catalogue at the morgue. Uh, you know what, guys? I think I might end it there. I think um, I think we've gone over time. Maybe I'm not sure. 
Um, uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Aside from all my random theories that probably won't come to be, I don't know what else to say. Um, also, does Kajiro have his ex-girlfriend dead in a cabinet in his his apartment? Is, is, does that does he have that? Does he have his girlfriend and ex-girlfriend in there? Uh, could corpse but could oh Jesus Christ I can't speak. Could corpse girl be Noriko's mother? Hmm. I don't know. Is it Yuriko? Is the sister Yuriko? I can't remember. Sorry guys, I just thought is it Yuriko? It's something that it's similar to Noriko. I can't remember now. Um but it, yeah, is it possible that Corpse Girl is uh her mother? I don't know. I don't know. Why wouldn't the Herald respond to a stab? <laughs> to being stabbed. Why not? I d I don't I don't think they're immortal. I don't know if there would be supernatural elements like that in the game. Um I just don't know how someone could just not respond to something like that. Unless they're like completely numb. <laughs> they have no feeling there or they've taken some uh, weird medication or it's like uh oh isn't there a character in like um uh the girl who kicked the hornet's nest or something like that um a girl with a dragon tattoo w one of those films isn't there a character who has this condition where uh he can't feel pain or something like that like i was thinking something along the lines of that but I don't know if it would... Because mm, I think it could be Armin. I think it could be Armin. Is that what the game wants us to think, though? I don't think it could be someone like Lempy Space Princess. Or could the Herald be um, Noriko's mom? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't know. I just... I need answers, but at the same time, I don't want the answers to come because that means the game's ending, right? I don't want the game to end. I'm happy for this game to continue on for another 20 hours. Like, I'm fine with that, honestly. Uh, anyway, I'm going to ruminate on this for a long time until I come up with another wild theory. Uh, maybe Eureka's still alive? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to my lovely patrons. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for voting for this game. You guys are incredible, lovely, fantastic, gorgeous, and you mean the world to me. You really do. If you would like to become a patron yourself to vote to force me to play scary games, please do check out the link in the description below. I have a poll going at the moment. I've got uh, four games on there that you can choose from. I will be doing a bit of a demo of each of them after I complete Corpse Factory, but you can go there now and check out the poll and you can vote right now. And uh, if you like this video, please do like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. That really helps me out. It really does make a difference. Be sure to hit the bell so you get notifications of my next video. And until then, please do have an amazing day slash night slash whatever. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.